This is Geometry Lesson 4.4, Triangle Congruence Shortcuts. So in order to determine if two shapes are congruent, everything about them needs to be the same. Their sides need to be the same and their angles need to be the same. So we're going to come up with a shortcut that lets us determine if two triangles are the same without having all the information, just some of the information. So the first one is side, side, side. If the three sides of a triangle are congruent to the three sides of another triangle, then they are congruent. So I don't need any information about the angles. If I know all three sides are the same, I can for sure say, yep, all the angles are the same. And the triangles are the same. The side angle side conjecture says if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to the two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then they are congruent. And so again, I only need those three pieces of information. The two sides and one angle in the middle will allow me to conclude that all the pieces of the triangles are the same. So I got a little space here to draw side, side, side out. So if I have one triangle and I know the three sides and I have another triangle and they have the same three sides, those triangles for sure are congruent. Side angle side would be if I have a triangle, I know one side, an angle in the middle, and a second side, and then on my second triangle I have the same exact setup. I don't need to know anything about the other three pieces. These triangles for sure are congruent. So we're going to determine if some triangles are congruent. I have a given triangle. I want to know what triangle it's congruent to and what rule tells me they're congruent. So it's backwards, but I'm going to do the rule blank first. So I see a 6 here and a 6 here, an 8 here and an 8 here, a 9 here and a 9 here. The three sides of the first triangle and the three sides of the tri second triangle are congruent. That tells me that the side, side, side rule lets me say, yes, these triangles are congruent. Now I want the order of the letters of the triangles to match up. So since on the first triangle I started at S, went to I, and then went to D, I want to do the exact same order on the second triangle. S was between 6 and 8 and trace the 8. J is between 6 and 8 and I'm going to trace the 8. So the triangle should be triangle J, A, N. My second one, I have a side here, an angle here, and a side here. Side, angle, side. I started with the L, went towards the U, and up to the V. These are oriented the same way, so it's much easier. I'm going to go the same direction. Triangle B, E, N. Continuing on, I have a side here and an angle here, and I don't see anything else. But we are allowed to conclude that BD on one triangle and BD on the other triangle, it's the same side on both triangles, so I know a side is congruent to itself. Anytime the triangles are connected and that side overlaps, you can count that side. So I see side, angle, side on my first triangle, side angle side on my second triangle. Side angle side is the rule that tells me these triangles are the same. My first triangle is C, B, D. So I want to make sure I go the same direction on my second triangle, A, D, B. And my last one, I see side angle side on this triangle and there's an angle here but it's it's the wrong angle this triangle is not side angle side it's technically side side angle and that's a no-go we don't have that congruence shortcut telling us that the triangles are the same so I actually don't have enough information to determine if these triangles are the same uh, we like the acronym cannot be or acronym right word I don't know cannot be determined. There is not enough information to tell me if these triangles are the same or not. They might be. That's why I'm not saying they're not congruent. 
I just don't have the information. I cannot determine if they are congruent. That's it for the notes for this lesson. You should be able to go on to the exercises. Please let me know if you have any questions.